hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here a huge welcome my name's Casey so today I'm just sort of gonna bring you along on my work day morning routine what that sort of roughly looks like I mean obviously each day varies um, Calvin's away on this particular morning so therefore sometimes if he's home he might drop Harper off on his way to work if she's awake and, and ready and all of that stuff. But on this particular morning, I was taking her, like I do, well, majority of the mornings, but yeah, it's just a real pretty simple, I'm just sort of quickly getting ready here while Harper's still asleep. Um, I tend to try and get up at 5.30 on the mornings I'm working, even though it's a struggle. It's so hard to believe that before having Harper, when I was pregnant with Harper and, and all that way, way, back um, a few years ago now I used to get up at like four or five o'clock and I'd have a coffee you know do a bit of scrolling on my phone walk the dogs and then I'd start work so yeah um, oh, I really need to get back into that waking up earlier just to get more organized before Harper does wake up seeing she is sort of oh she's not waking up too early now but yeah and this night she slept through so that was really nice so it was made it easier for me to get up at 5 30 but yeah so I just get myself put together a little bit before she wakes up and then I'll go into my office and start work and just yeah work away until I hear her waking up and then I'll sort of stop work get her ready um, quickly drop her off at daycare and yeah I'll come back and continue working for the day Now I'm just putting some quick makeup on, nothing flash, um, just very basic basic because after work um, this afternoon before I pick Harper up from daycare I have some other work stuff I want to do for my channel and intros um, and stuff I've forgotten to do whilst I was filming videos so I just need to um, quickly film those and there's a um, photo I want to take for Instagram and, and just things like that. So. I'm just chucking on some makeup for the, for this particular day but usually there'd be days um, when I'm just sort of working from home I don't bother putting makeup on and things like that so but on this particular day I knew I wanted to do those couple of things before I picked Harper up from daycare. Nine times out of ten every morning I make my bed I just think it's just a great way to begin the morning just in an organized manner and with a clean slate that helps to make the most out of your day it just makes me feel better and when I walk into the room or past the room and I see the bed made yeah it's just like a real like fresh um, tidy feeling like if your bed's sort of untidy it sort of makes my mind feel untidy if that makes sense yeah I'm just having my usual lemon water obviously I've got to feed Tiara usually if Kelvin's home he will feed her before he goes to work but yeah I'm doing it this morning so just giving her a quick brekkie and at this time obviously Harper's still not awake so I'm still just pottering around um, before I actually go in and sit down to start for work but yeah I just make my lemon water some mornings I might wait and have my coffee after I've dropped Harper, Harper just so I can sort of sit and work and, and drink that sort of in peace but yeah it just depends how I feel on each particular morning. Now as far as Harper goes for getting ready for daycare and everything, it's just a matter of sort of dressing her, brushing her hair. I have been, we have started brushing her teeth because um, I went to the dentist the other week and I sort of mentioned it to her, sort of, you know, should, should I be started brushing Harper's teeth now and yeah, obviously she has teeth so you know you should sort of brush the teeth and sort of get some used to brushing their teeth as well I mean it's a struggle to do it because obviously she doesn't completely like it um, I find it very fun at the moment but yeah I get in and have a have a go and try and get as much of the teeth 
as I can but um yeah on this particular morning I went to film that but my phone was playing up saying my storage was full um, but yeah so I obviously did that but yeah as far as things she takes to school it's just sort of like a backpack with her sleeping um, bag thing that she sort of just holds on to and then obviously spare clothes and then now she's on to normal cow's milk so I just pack her a bottle and they'll pour that milk in and give that to her just at nap times and then obviously her water bottle but now as you can see Miss Harper has woken up and it's about 6.30 she woke up this morning 6.30 quarter to 7 so I got to work for about half an hour 45 minutes so that was good so I'm just getting her up now so this is sort of where I pause from work and then get Harper's breakfast some mornings she mightn't have breakfast at home because the daycare will give them breakfast so it all just depends but on this particular morning she did because um, she loves her yogurt and granola and, and blueberries or her avocado toast so yeah and we had no bread this morning so she's having her yogurt and granola which she really quite enjoys and she ate quite a fair bit this morning but yeah so I'm just getting her up to get her ready for the day And as you can see here, real life, it's a struggle to change her lately. She just does not like laying down, getting her nappy changed. It's just, yeah, a real, real mission. Like it's a job in itself. But um, anyway, obviously you get there and you get it done. Um, so I'm just dressing her now and then she'll sit down and have breakfast. This is that um, silly silicon placemat that I picked up from Kmart. If you watched my Kmart haul, you would have seen I showed that in there. And let me tell you, it's fantastic because, like I, I said in my haul, it's great because it sort of, in a sense, sticks to the table and she can't push it off or knock it off. So it stays completely in place. And obviously, after they're done, you just pick it up and give it a wash off and, and it's good to go again so yeah I really highly recommend this and like I said in my haul very inexpensive um, but yeah and I just watching this back just Harper uh, so cute like I could just watch her all day eating like this when, when I record her in videos like this but yeah it's just so cute and like I just sit here watching this just thinking how lucky and thankful I am that she's turned into the eater that she is now um, which 
is just really good. Like I can't complain. Um, she's a really, really good eater. So obviously some things she's funny with, like plain, just plain vegetables, sort of like steamed carrot and things like that. She sort of doesn't come at that stuff as much unless it's sort of mixed in things and and that sort of thing. But I mean, like she'll chew on sort of a raw cucumber and and, and that sort of thing. And the other day she actually, I was having a pickle, like out of, out of the jar, um, a sliced pickle, and she saw me with it and she wanted to try it. So I gave, I gave her a bit and she yeah like devoured the whole thing so I was just like wow but I mean like that's every parent's dream um you know I know I used to argue a little bit with Bentley when it comes to dinner time and and things like that but I think the difference with Bentley and Harper is I sort of ate a lot more plainer when I had Bentley so that's all he sort of knew um but with Harper because obviously I've got my Thermomix and I, I just try and you know new things different things so experiment with things so obviously Harper's had more of a variety of food um, rather than Bentley so I you know I sort of put it down to to my fault in that sense but yeah Harper's just such a great little eater I hope fingers crossed she stays that way So now this is sort of the time as well when Harper's contained at the dining table eating her breakfast. I'll sort of just dry up any dishes, um, maybe sometimes empty the dishwasher if I've got time sort of to do that while she's eating and just like we'll give her um, Tiara a snack here. I'm giving her her treat um, that she has every morning after her breakfast. But um, yeah, I just sort of race around doing things like that, put a load of washing on, you know, like I said, just to get things done while she's contained sitting at the dining table, um, sort of entertained eating her breakfast. Okay, now I've just dropped Harper off to daycare, come back, work for a little bit, um, finished off my coffee that I made before I took Harper to daycare, and now so I'm just having breakfast myself. So like I showed in my what I eat in a day, I'm back on my granola yogurt for breakfast. So I'm so happy about that because this is something that I really enjoy for breakfast. And again, it's easy just to throw together. Um, so yeah, I'm glad, thankful that I feel like having that again now so I'm just having some um, chia seeds with that as I do most of the time like you see me I add some of these in Harper's breakfast as well and then this morning I'm just having some strawberries with it as well some mornings I'll just take a few minutes to sit out in the fresh air in the sun in my beautiful um, little alfresco area here now that we sort of did a little redecorate on the other weekend which I just love it now it's just such a beautiful inviting space so yeah I'll just sit here um, you know try and get away from 
obviously the computer because sometimes I'll sit at my computer on my working days and eat lunch. Well, thank you also very much for watching this my workday morning routine. Now there's not really much to it, obviously just the general um, bits and pieces and then dropping Harper. That's a lot different um, to my morning routine when I'm not working. But um, yeah, when I'm, when I'm not working, it's obviously a lot more chilled, um, sort of not running on time schedule as such. Um, as you have to when you're working but I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I mean there's nothing else I really do that's my morning in a nutshell um, just to put it simply so I really hope you enjoyed this style of video and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know that you like this style of videos and if there's any other sort of content you would like to see on my channel I'd love to hear your thoughts on that also because at the end of the day, I like to make content that you all like to see and watch and stuff that inspires and motivates and interests you all. So yes, and if this is the first time you're clicking on my video today, I really hope you enjoyed it and you consider st sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now. Yeah.